Hello, my name is Chris Johnson, and uh, for my data, I choose the master student survey data that we've been using previously last week. Um, it includes a range of variables, um, which I did end up changing to scale, like we were supposed to. Um, when creating the CAF or CFA, excuse me. Um, I ended up making three different um, factors over here. The first one was hobbies, which included exercise, homework, um, talking to family and TV, as well as mental health, including depression, happiness, regrets, and self-esteem, and also academic ability for computer skill, writing skill, map ability, and business skill. Um, I went through and I made sure I selected all the right inputs um, that we discussed in our lectures and from that I received these outputs which I then copied into Word and here we with our factor model we found a chi-squared of 69. A2 with the significance below 0 0.05. Um, what I found when comparing the model fit indices is that the TLI was below the 0.9 a little by 0.17 and the CFI was below the 0.9 as well, um, a little less, but the SMR and the RMSEA was um, in the realms to where we wanted when discussing the parameter estimates and the factor loadings um, it didn't find any significance in any of the hobbies unfortunately they're not highlighted in blue um, and as far as mental health we did find some significant things right here with um, some of the pathways showing 0.789 and 0.71, and 0.69. As far as academic ability, I also found significance within the writing skill in the business skill with 0.63 and 0.627 um, when doing the path model I one second I gotta finish this uh, recording um, we found all the observable variables on the bottom are shown with the latent variables on top and then showing the pathway coefficients. Um, when using the S and M structural equation model, um, we did find the significance of chi squared of 48.53 with a p value less than 0 0.05. Um, here we have some of the listed values that we suggested doing on assignment three with the CFI as well below the 0.9 and the TLI below the 0.9. Um, but again, the RMSEA and the SMR were above, were in the parameters that we were, were hopefully looking for. Um, we'll get back up to the write up in a second. Um, this was something I didn't know exactly why this happened but some of these ended up blank. Um, I was hoping maybe you could help with that. But what we found in regard to mental health and happiness was significant. Mental health and self-esteem. But when we started examining age compared to, oh, excuse me, when we started examining <laughs> academic ability 
to hobbies, we didn't end up with any numbers with the p-value point for two, so it wasn't significant anyway. Um, academic ability to mental health, we had 0.76 with a p-value of 0.35 and just no significance there essentially. Same thing when we did compare these three latent variables with age. Um, again with age and hobbies, I don't know why it ended up blank, but when we looked at age and mental health we found 0.36 with the significance of 0.28 as well as academic ability and age as 0.26 with um, significance of 0.226. Um, if we scroll down to the pathway model at the bottom, you can see I highlighted what is needed from the listed charts above. Um, and we find the pathway model down here. Um, I don't know why the paths came in so light colored, but you can see the numbers in there that are highlighted above in the chart. Um, and then lastly, to go over just the write up, and thank you for being patient, is that when examining the path coefficients of academic ability, there was not a significant predictor of mental health or hobbies. In other words, a postgraduate student's hobbies or mental health cannot predict one's academic ability. And as for age, there was no significant predictors when examining hobbies, mental health, or academic ability. Um, mastery goal was not a significant predictor of GPA. No, sorry, I need to delete that. So in other words, age cannot be used as a predictor for determining postgraduate students' hobbies, mental health, or academic ability. Um, I'm pretty sure I did everything right, hopefully. And if not, I would appreciate it if you could help me correct anything that I did wrong. Um, thank you again for this week.